test of the long-range acoustic device LRAD from American Technology Corporation. The LRAD can be used to hail and notify at great distances. It's the kind of sound that has people covering their ears and backing away. Just the long-range acoustical device doing its job, developed for the U.S. military, designed to keep people away from things like warships. It does this by making a sound at maximum volume, a sound surpassing the normal human threshold of pain, affecting targets a mile away. But the device also sends messages. Your intentions are unclear. Clearly understood from long distances, issuing warnings before people get close enough to cause damage. We've got some sounds that we play that will vibrate your ha head, uh, shake your chest. Sound focused with laser light precision. About a thousand of the devices are deployed in Iraq with the Army and Marines. Get that footage on the screen there, okay. Just, okay, to describe it, I was right, no, I had to get this footage. I've seen, you know, police state for the rise of FEMA. I saw what happened in the G20 in Toronto and Pittsburgh and London, all over the world. I, I knew this weapon was used in Iraq and Afghanistan to kill our eardrums. And to see it in Macomb, Illinois was completely unnecessary. I, I had, I couldn't sleep last night. I thought I was, you know, hearing this. L rat in my sleep last night. This thing was very dangerous. I saw officers, literally, folks, literally, point L rat, the L rat weapon, at apartment complexes. I was on the balcony. I, I saw it with my own two eyes. So the question in my eyes is why was this weapon used at a peaceful end of the year gather, gathering? It was completely unnecessary. 80% on the front. Step forward just a little bit. 80% on that front leg. That's it. You're ready to go. It reduces that high spike into a nice flat curve, which allows you to absorb into your shoulder uh, impulse levels which would normally be associated with um, something like an 80 millimeter mortar. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. That's awesome. We need something more. We need a cop who doesn't need to eat or sleep. Ed 209. But that is only the beginning. Mr. Kenny. Yes, sir. Would you come up and give us a hand, please? Mr. Kinney is going to help us simulate a typical arrest and disarming procedure. Use your gun. Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. Better do what he says, Mr. Kinney. You now have 15 seconds. 